What is going on guys? Pokemon Trainer George here, back with another opening. And today we are finishing up a product line I had started in a couple of my other videos. Um, I bought two of each. It was the Power of Partnership tins, at least I think that's what they're called. That's what Google told me. So I had done the Mewtwo and Mew, the Garchomp and Giratina, and the Melmetal and Lucario. I bought two of each. I ordered them online and then randomly found them in a store, which was interesting and the order already shipped so I got two of each but I got some cool pulls in them check out those videos if you'd like but today we are finishing up I believe these are the other three tins um so we have Zekrom and Pikachu which is an interesting pair big legendary dragon and the mouse man himself we have Eevee and Snorlax which I think is pretty appropriate and Celebi and Venusaur so I'm really excited to get into these. I think all the promos look really cool. Um, I cannot remember what packs are in them, but hey, why don't we find out together? All right, guys. So we're gonna start with the uh, Snorlax and Eevee one, which, oh no, my handy dandy Batarang is not here. Um, I'm sorry if you guys miss it, but I'll use my handy dandy blue pen this time. Okay. Here we have the Power of Partnership 10 Eevee and Snorlax with one of the most interesting promos or cards I've seen, period, but we'll get a close-up view in a second. So let's crack this bad boy open with our handy dandy pen, and let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to open this up ever so gently. My, uh, my room is slowly getting filled up with... Um, Pokemon tins and uh, boxes and product. So uh, I have to get rid of some soon, or I'm gonna start have to sleep. I'm gonna have to start sleeping on them. All right, so we'll get into the promo in one sec. They do seem to come with these random GX tag team. I don't even want to call it a coin, but I think we're just gonna leave that one in there this time. So we got the cool tin. Um, all the tins are the same from what I've noticed, except for the tops. Obviously this one has Snorlax and Eevee, but they all have the three of them on the side. And if you hear that, that is the GX uh, tab rattling around in there. So here we have the promo. Oh, cool, I fell right out and a little code. So this Snorlax and Eevee promo uh, looks like a grade schooler had drawn it. Um, but not in a bad way, if that makes sense. It's just, uh, it's a very interesting card. Uh, it's a little heavy on this side, but it's, and what is that? Oh, I thought the Snorlax, uh, the deformed Snorlax was eating like another Eevee and that was its legs and this Eevee was cheering it on. But I think those are what, citrus berries, if I remember correctly. So there's the promo, which is <laughs> very interesting. Uh, and then let's see what the packs, let's see what packs we got. We have a Crimson Invasion, a Burning Shadows, a Sun and Moon, and a Steam Siege. Okay, we'll start off with the Steam Siege. Wish me luck. So we got a code card. I'm going to get that out of the way. Go one, two, three, four. Put those to the front. And first pack. Oh, oh, nope, totally messed up. Steam Siege, Steam Siege is three. Okay, <laughs> we have a Zuelios, a Greedy Dice, a Duot, Dot, a Fletchling, I like the little Firebird, one of probably my favorite flying type, a Clauncher, an Apom, a Yanma. For the reverse, we have a Rapidash, that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like a kid drew that one too. Not in a bad way, just saying. And for the rare, we have a Spiritomb, which I had seen when I originally flipped them over. Okay, <laughs> so we'll do a Sun and Moon next with Lunala on the front. Pretty sure this one is four cards to the front, but I haven't opened cards in a little bit, so I don't remember. I've been slacking on uh, my Pokemon purchases. So we have a Psychic Energy, Dartrix, a Great Ball, a... Why do they do this to me? Uh, Pukumuku. Pukumuku. Oh, I actually think I got that right. A Stuffle. <laughs> a Wingull. A Dratini. A Lilypup. A Bone Sweet. 
For the reverse, we have a rare, which is a Parasect. That's always nice. A nice Cran Parasect. All these, all these cards were drawn in the same kindergarten. And for the rare, ooh, okay. I will definitely take that. We have an Incineroar GX, which is, I think I have an Incineroar V2, so this is a pretty nice pull. A little heavy on this side, but that's all right. Incineroar, I really like, I'm a, I'm a big cat person, so I pretty much like any cat Pokemon, but I love Incineroar Shiny, where they swap all the black for white. It's, oh, it's so clean. I'm not sure if there's a Shiny Incineroar Pokemon card, but if there is, I need to invest immediately. So that's cool. Um, not bad. One pack in, we got a GX. I am pretty happy with that. Let's do uh, Burning Shadows next. I believe all the tins should have the same packs, but we'll find that out for sure in a second. We have a Dark Energy, a Wishful Baton, a Mount Lanakilla, Wick, Pikachu. This is one of my favorite arts of Pikachu. It's just like, it's really anime-y, like he's about to beat up the, his shonen supervillain. We got a Krogunk, a Magikarp, Meowth, a Wimpod, a Ledian. Is that a rare? Nice. We have a reverse Ledian, and for the rare, a non-hollow Heracross. Okay. And the last pack of this tin is a Crimson Invasion. A lot of the uh, white code cards today. Two, three, four. And we have a Dark Energy. A Gladion. I always liked how angsty and just generally pissed Gladion was in the game. He was just just mad all the time. Uh, since Cino. You know, Actually, I haven't played Sun and Moon in a while. Maybe I'll break out the 3DS. A mill tank, a very blissful mill tank. We have a, a Mankey. I like how for Mankey it was Monkey and they changed one letter. And it's a whole new world. A whole new word. A whole new world. I'm not sure what I said the first time. An execute, a very cool magic art. A Mincino. For the reverse, we have a Shelmet, and for the rare. Oh, okay. And a Lowland Marowak. That's pretty cool. If anybody uh, watching plays Pokemon Go, you have definitely seen a lot of a Lowland Marowak. I think they actually just uh, weakened, what was it, Shadowbone a bit in the PvP? Because uh, everybody just ran him all the time. <sighs> Rest in peace, Marowak. Alrighty. We are going to get into the... Venusaur and Celebi next. Grabbing my handy dandy substitute. And let's get this one on open. Yeah, so I do believe there's only been six of these tins. And I think I've opened them all at this point. So that's. Unless there's like a couple, another set of three hidden out there that I just completely missed. Okay, for the packs. Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, and oh, an, an Evolutions. Okay. I, I think most people would say an Evolutions over a Steam Siege is a wonderful thing. I know that not a lot of people, online at least, really enjoy the Steam Siege set. Even though, you know, I've gotten the, uh, the shiny Gardevoir, the shiny... Steelix, I think that's where I got my shiny Bisharp too. Wasn't a bad set. I've liked it. I, I mean, there's not a ton of cards that I uh, really am crazy about, or most people are crazy about, I guess. Either way, we have the Celebi and Venusaur promo. I like how <laughs> Venusaur is just looking up like, oh, and Celebi's looking down like, oh. They're just kind of like staring at each other like neither one of them really knows what's to, what to do. I really do love the tag team cards. I really have to invest in some of this, the uh, tag team sets because it's just so cool seeing two Pokemon on one card. And I love how they've been doing like the type things in these boxes. That's that's pretty neat as well. Alrighty, so we'll save the evolutions for last. We'll start with a Sun and Moon. And we have a Steel Energy. 
a herdier, wishy washy, the saddest fish in the sea, a rare candy, a chinchow, a cutie fly, Dratini, Spiro, Psyduck. For the reverse, we have an Alolan Grimer, the grimiest Pokemon of all. And for the rare, we have a Bruxish. And I need to be completely honest with you guys. I completely forgot this was even a Pokemon. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw a Bruxish. Um, I don't think this guy was in Sword and Shield, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm not even, I honestly don't even know if it's another type. I think it's pure water, but it could be water fire for all I know. Wow, I haven't seen a Pokemon in a long time. <laughs> all right, so we'll get into a, a Crimson Invasion next. And one, two, three, four. We have an Electric Energy. An Emolga, appropriate for the Electric Energy. A Devoured Field. Okay, an Alolan Graveler, a Pumpkaboo, a Staryu, a Dino, an Aaron, a Roan, a Ghastly Ghastly. For the reverse, we have the one of the coolest Magikarp cards I've ever seen, so that's actually pretty nice. Definitely going to sleeve that one. And for the rare, a Crawdont. What a daunting crap. Alrighty, throwing some packs around, and let's open up the Burning Shadows. We have a one, a two, a three, and a four. A Grass Energy, Lana, Tormenting Spray, okay. A, oh, that looks like a very angry Charmeleon. That's actually a really cool art. Yeah, that's really cool. It's gotta be like a painting. All the uh, light effects on him are, are really crazy. A Stuffle, a Pansage, a Krogunk, again, a Pikachu, uh, again, a Pampor. For the reverse, we have a Simi Sage. I really don't like any of these three elemental monkeys. It just, they just don't do it for me. And for the rare, a Weevil. Alrighty, guys, we are on to our Evolutions pack. Oh, I really hope the, the uh, Pikachu and Zekrom one have an Evolutions as well. But if you've been watching this channel, it's time to play my favorite game. Can I pull anything from an Evolutions pack? I believe it's three with Evolutions. Mm, let's find out. That should be fine. We have a Charizard Spirit Link. You know, I've, been, I've opened up a decent amount of Evolutions. I don't think I've got a Charizard Spirit Link yet. I have all the other ones, several of them. I don't think I've seen this one. I guess it really is uncommon. Anyway. We have a Kakuna, a Full Heal, a Poliwag, a Diglett. You know, I've never noticed this before, but this Diglett has like a texture to him. It's like a, it's like fuzzy. That makes Diglett infinitely more terrifying. We have a Seal, a Nidoran, a Ponyta. For the reverse, we have a little Charmander, okay. I think I have the Charmeleon, too, in reverse. That's actually pretty cool. And for the rare, we have Mewtwo. The classic himself. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Well, I got some pretty cool reverse foils, which I am always trying to add to the collection. And the very last tin we have is Pikachu and Zekrom, which probably is my favorite... Mm, probably favorite promotional one out of these three. Or the promo is my favorite promo out of the... You guys know what I'm trying to say. I hope. Alrighty, let's get this one open. Well, let's see what packs we got in here first. For the Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, and a Steam Siege. Ah, really hoping for that second Evolutions. So that was the, I mean, I'm not sure if they're all the same. I assume at this point, since these have been out for a while, these might be like, say, repacks. But the Celebi and the Venusaur, for you guys, was the ones that had, were the ones that had the Evolutions pack in them. Okay. 
throw some of that stuff away. And then we have this really cool looking Pikachu and Zekrom. Zekrom looking really diabolical and Pikachu just kind of getting a uh, evil piggy pack ride. No, this is a really cool card though. I'll put that one right in the middle. That Yeah, that's definitely my favorite promo from these three. Uh, with Celebi and Venusaur next and Eevee and Snorlax very far behind it. Okay, we're going to open up the Steam Siege first. Steam Siege was the one that I, that's three, if I remember correctly. One, two, three. We have a, wait, yeah, okay, no energies. We have a Clang. I hate, I hate this, this Pokemon and all of its, an Anorith Fossil, a Duat, a Meryl, a very derpy looking Litleo, a Rufflet, a Fungus, a Ponyard. For the reverse, we have a Nidoking. There's actually, wow, the Psychic symbols in the back. That is really cool. And it's a Raria yeah. with the little Nidoran down there. He's like, I'll protect you, son. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. And for the rare, we have a our second rare Weevil. Okay. Is that a theme going today? Well, that's pretty cool out of the first pack is a reverse Nato King. Uh, all right, let's get into the Sun and Moon base. I actually managed to find these online for pretty close to retail. I think they retailed at 20 and I ended up paying like 60, maybe like 67 with tax for all three. Um, I found them on, did I do the energy? I completely was talking and forgot what I was doing. Nope, put those to the front. Okay, kind of botched it. But uh, GameNerds.com had tons in stock if you guys were looking to pick up some of these boxes. I believe they're only sold in sets of the three, which was fine for me because I wanted to complete the collection anyway. But um, yeah, they have some really reasonable prices right now for them. Or at least when I ordered them, say, a week ago. <laughs> we have a Fairy Energy, a Rotom Dex, Passimian, Passimian, yep, How, Spiro, a Grubbin, a Firo, Snubble, a Sandile. For the reverse, we have a Trumbeak. And for the rare, a not very rare Parasect. Okay. So we got two packs left. Let's do Crimson Invasion first. And if anybody wants a code card, there is your code. Go right on ahead and redeem it. This one's on me. Okay, we have a Steel Energy, Fighting Memory, Counter Catcher. These cards are kind of warped. A Hakomo, Hakomo O, Skiddo, a Weedle, an Alolan Geodude, an Aaron, an Aaron, a Ghastly. Wait, is this the, is this this, uh, Foil? Ah, oh, I thought it was the same, a Foil Haunter. That's cool. Am I gonna get a Gengar? And for the rare, okay, a Foil Zer. Oh no, this guy goes over here. A foil Xerneas with its very majestic antlers. There we go. I can't want to say, I was going to say horns, and I was like, it definitely, it's, it's like a deer. It definitely does not have horns. But see, I clearly know nothing about Pokemon or real life animals. So our very last pack is Burning Shadows. Um, I'd be pretty happy if I could pull one more full art. But let's see how that goes. A Water Energy, Escape Rope, a Gloom, which is funny because it's a very happy looking Gloom, and Acerola, Acerola, Acarola, one or the other, a Horsey, and a Lowland Vulpix, a Sneasel to go with the two Weevils we have pulled, a Venipede, a Sandy Yast, for the reverse, we have a Wabba Wabba Fat. And for the rare, I don't think it's what I want. We have an Azumarill. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. So we got some pretty cool pulls. I like a lot of the reverse foils we got, especially this uh, the classic Charmander is really cool. I got a really nice Incineroar, one of my favorite starters. And I'm honestly just really happy with the promos, um, save Eevee and Snorlax. But 
just for this Pikachu and Zekrom alone. This is a really beautiful card, and I'm really happy to add it to my collection. And there you have it, guys. I had finished up the Power of Partnership 10 openings. Um, actually, immediately after this video, I'm going to go Google and see if there are more, and I've just been wrong this whole time, but we will get there. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please uh, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. My Instagram and Twitter are in the bio as well if you'd like to follow me on there. I uh, post more on Instagram than Twitter, but it's just a bunch of pictures of all the cards I've collected. And, and Twitter, I usually update with more of my Pokemon Go uh, gameplay. But yeah, I will have some more openings for you guys in the very near future. Thank you again, Pokemon Trainer George. Ow. Ow.